Good morning. On today's show, he's a man of many talents. West End Stage, primetime television, nine solo albums, and now he's concentrating his efforts on making people's dreams come true. The fabulous John Barryman is here at 9.15. And as all... Welcome back. In a moment, I'll be talking to the very gorgeous John Barrowman. He's right next to me. Uh, but first, lots more emails from you this morning. Um, my now, my next guest is a time traveller, a desperate housewife villain, and one of Britain's most loved entertainers. And when he's not busy releasing albums, books, singing on the West End, he's making <laughs> other people's dreams come true. Cluck like a chicken. <laughs> It's time for Mr. Smith to go to the top of the class. Hey, I'm John Barrowman from BBC One's Tonight's the Night, and I'm going to make your dream come true. And John Barrowman joins me now. How brilliant. Hold on, what was going on in that clip? What, what dream was you making come this, true? This, this, he was a teacher, uh, and he... T he uh, gives his extra time to help students in the performing arts, you know, the, the, the division of his school. He teaches religious studies, and his big dream was to uh, sing in front of a very big audience or on national television, wow. but we supersized it, and we sent him to Las Vegas to work with Barry Manilow, and he, oh, came, wow. he came back to the studio and sang a big Barry Manilow, uh, he sang Mandy for the, or well, he's going to sing it for the nation, so it's, it was absolutely incredible. So his big dream came true, and that was in one of the classroom situations that, that we hit him. That is so lovely. Because it's Saturday night, yes. I've, you have great guests. Yep. Um, but how do these people come and, and have their dreams made come true? Well, everybody gets, you know, we, we use the word nominated. Everyone gets nominated by, for instance, like yourself, you might get nominated by a friend, you might get nominated by a family member. And it doesn't always have to be, uh, you know, it doesn't have, there doesn't have to be tragedy in your life. You know, we do have people who have had things go wrong. Yeah. But it's basically nice things happening to nice people yeah. you know good people it's 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 kind of a way for me to give back to them and also for family members and friends to show their appreciation yeah, to somebody it's such a lovely show if you were younger what would you would you have a dream want to have a dream come true i want to be lena zavaroni on opportunity <laughs> knocks mama he's making eyes at me <laughs> Yeah, Lena Zavaroni. We could have done that for you, baby. We could have done that for you. <laughs> okay, you recently appeared in one of my favourite shows ever, obviously, Desperate Housewives. Totally. Oh. How did that come about? Well, Desperate Housewives, I was in the States actually uh, doing a, a Children in Need thing with Miley in class, and Mark Cherry, the creator, the writer, he is Desperate Housewives, rang me up, big fan of Torchwood, said, I'd love to have you on, and he um, met with me. I thought he was going to write something for not this current series that was out, but for the next one. And he called up my manage, manager, Gavin, and he said, I, I have to have him in this series because I just love him. So that was it. And I was, it was, a, an, that was kind of something that just happened. happened. And you can't really control it. You had no, it, you didn't try to make it happen. It yeah. just happened. So it was brilliant. I got to go to the set once and I just ran up and down Wisteria Lane like a nutcase. So you, that's brilliant. I've been in the houses. You've been in I've the been houses. I've been in bed in there. <laughs> I've, you know, I've blew, you I blew up thing. on the street. You lucky thing. And then obviously another huge US show is Glee. Yeah. Have you been in talks for this? Well, I went in for a meeting with the, the casting people of Glee and one of the great, one the nice things about the position where I am at the moment, I'm, I, you know, we ring up and we say, can I come in? And they let you come in. You sit down and talk to them. I've shown my interest. Now it's kind of up to them if they want to, uh, uh, you know, do anything or put me into oh, it. But I'd love to. I think they'd be mad I'd love to, be to one get of, you on there. I'd love to imagine? be one of Rachel's dads. Yeah. Yes! And we could, oh, I just would, it would be perfect. And of we course, could both go on. We could both go on and do a little number. That, oh, listen, that would be brilliant. That would be amazing. I'm going to mark that down. I'm going to send on, off an right, email right today. <laughs> you also play, of course, Captain uh, Jack Hudson yep. in Torchwood. Now, is that coming back? Torchwood will be or back when, yeah. this around this time, ne or summer of next year. We start filming it uh, in the UK and in North America in January. It's a collaboration between, a co-production between the BBC and the Stars Network, which is a very big cable network in the States. Mm. So I'm really chuffed that it's coming back. We're going international. We're taking what I think is a great representative of, of British television and we're going international Incredible. and global with it, which is fantastic. Incredible. You've also, you could go on all day, but you've also done lots I love this. of theatre. 
Um, what was your, your most recent? Uh, La Caja Fall. Uh, yes. La Caja I think Fall. we've got a, a brilliant picture. Do you? There. Oh, How amazing. Nice. What do you prefer, though, theatre or, or TV? Um, I, I, I never answer that question. It's Be hard. Well, it? it's, not, it's not hard because I don't like to answer because sometimes when you say things, you get pigeonholed. And I consider myself to be an entertainer. Yeah. And an entertainer, for me, encapsulates more than one thing. And whether it's radio, TV, theater, I'm there to entertain people. That's what I've been put on this planet to do. And if people want to see it, then I'll continue to Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Well, you're so busy. How do you relax? Um, I, <laughs> with a vodka tonic. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> vodka tonic in South Wales by the sea. And a little massage maybe now and yeah, again. Yeah, that's what Scott, you know, everyone says they have a man, you know, they, their man doesn't look, my man looks after me. Does he? He does, he does. My man looks after me too. A nice massage is yeah. very... Yeah, feet massage, <gasps> the best. That's the best, isn't it? Yeah. And what, so what have you got coming up next? I've got my tour coming up, which is in October, uh, doing a national tour, about 25 different venues around the country, Albert Hall uh, included in on and it. And you've got an album? Uh, no, the album's already out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, out now, this is yeah. the, the tour will be of the album, okay. so that's probably what that is. And then I've got a DVD of the tour, which will come up before oh. Christmas. Thank you so much. It's lovely. Thank I you for see. having me. We'll talk after. We will. <laughs> that's it for today. Good luck to everyone in Scotland waiting for the results um, in the highs. On GMTV tomorrow, Ross King has all the latest showbiz news from American R&B star Tinchy Strider is coming in for a chat to form his new single in My System. I'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>